Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing a bonus reading for you guys. You had the highest viewership last week, so I wanted to give you a bonus reading. I am going to take a second to remind everybody that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody, so if it's not resonating with you, you can check your other signs and placements and see if those readings may resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop, and that is not unusual in a general reading, guys. All right, so let's get started. As always, Taurus, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that's not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Taurus? Taurus. Okay. So, Taurus, you are starting out with the High Priestess in the reverse. You have the Eight of Swords, and coming out together, we have the King of Wands along with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Okay, so Taurus, I can see that you're going through a kind of a tumultuous time right now. You may feel like you're kind of trapped in a situation, and I, I'm getting a lot of stuck energy, although you want to, to make movement. There's a lot of stagnant energy, a lot of stuck energy. I do feel like there's something about a lack of stability um, in a situation. And a lot of you guys are having a difficult time trusting your intuition with regard to what this is. I can definitely see that you want to take action, but something is keeping you stuck. It has something to do with stability or lack of. Um, I'm also seeing that there could have been some things that you've either realized or there could be some secrets that have come out, but there's definitely an energy here of you wanting to take action, but not able to do so just yet. So let's see, let's see the, um, some of you may have gotten a, a, or you might be waiting for a increase in, in a, like a, a job of, of some sort, like a promotion. All right, so let's see who's in your energy. Show me who is in energy please show me who is in Taurus energy if so I feel like that job promotion hasn't come through yet for those of you that are resonating with that all right so the person in your energy has the ten of wands seven of coins and coming out together is judgment in reverse and the five of cups so this person in your energy feels like they've made a bad judgment call here. They have regrets. Um, there could have been something that they have done that has kind of put an end to things between the two of you. They're definitely feeling regretful. They're looking back at everything that has taken place in this connection. And there's a sense here that there's no going back from whatever it is that's happened here. There's also a sense that this person feels they made a poor judgment call. Now, there is something about money in their energy, and they're being very patient. I feel like this person is waiting to see what you're going to do, Taurus. Um, there is a painful ending, though, that is, is sitting here of some kind of a cycle. I do feel this person has a lot of problems. There's a lot of things that is weighing them down. I don't feel like it's just within this connection. They've got a lot going on in their life. And they're kind of sitting back. I don't really see them taking action. I see them sitting back and really just waiting to see what's going to happen. They could be waiting for some kind of financial um, windfall of some sort. Uh, let's, see. let's see the energy between the two of you. The Emperor... Mm. Yeah, so somebody's going to take action in this connection. I, I'm seeing, because I see that you want to take action. I feel like you're going to, Taurus. I feel like you're you're kind of bossing up here. Now, some of you could be involved with someone that you work for. This person, either you or them, could be could be an employer of the other person or because it doesn't seem like you work together. It seems like it's a boss-type energy. 
Um, doesn't necessarily have to be though. I definitely see that there's uh, someone here is going to take control of this connection though. You could be dealing with a twin flame or a soulmate, um, a deep soul tie for some of you. Let's see what is affecting this connection. Show me what's affecting the connection. The Knight of Swords. So what's affecting your connection, Taurus, is there's going to be someone coming forward with truth. And it actually looks like it's some, it, it looks like the other person, not you. But we'll see. We'll clarify that just to be sure. Either they already have or, or they're going to. It looks like it's going to be done impulsively. It's a, it's a communication that is very truthful, very forthright, and it, it's, uh, it's deeply affecting the situation. Show me the outcome at the end of the week. Show me the outcome. All right, we have the Nine of Wands and the Two of Coins reversed. All right, so in your outcome, Taurus, what I'm seeing is that there's still going to be problems by the end of the week. However, I do feel that the person that is your, in your energy, they want to work on some of these problems. Now, they're kind of acting as if they have... They've been hurt. <laughs> they're acting like they've been hurt. They're acting as if um, they're the injured party here. And I do see you have you making some sort of a decision. Um, I'm also seeing that there's a lot of imbalance. You're, you're recognizing there's imbalance in this connection. I feel like, Taurus, you're dealing with somebody who kind of plays the victim. So they're they're kind of saying, yeah, I want to work things through with you, but you really hurt me. You've really done this and that to me. They do a lot of sitting back. Um, I do feel that they have a lot of regrets for the way they've behaved in the past, but at the same time, I don't see them really doing anything about it. It's almost like they're looking to you to take care of this situation, to take charge of it, to handle the situation. They're, they're acting as if you've done them wrong. <laughs> and, I mean, I can't see... I can't see if anybody has done anybody wrong, but this person is definitely playing the victim. I do feel they struggle emotionally. I feel like they, they are going through a very sad time. And they do feel very burdened by, by the state of affairs between the two of you. Now, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Coins. This is underlying energy, and this tells me that either your money is coming through and it's coming through slower than you thought, and or you're moving forward, or this person's moving forward. Someone is moving forward, but very, very slowly. Money could be part of the issue. So let's, um, let's clarify, why is the High Priestess in reverse? Why is the High Priestess in reverse? All right, Three of Swords and the King of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, so Taurus, this is your energy. So you're, you're kind of uh, allowing this situation between this person to lower your vibration a little bit. I do feel like you're going to get control of that though. Because what I'm seeing here with the King of Pentacles in the reverse, that's a breakup. It could be an ending of a marriage. It could be an ending of um, of a long-term connection. And there could be some third-party energy that is affecting this. If so, I feel like you do know about it. Regardless, it's a very painful situation, whether it's third party or not. But for a lot of you, there's third party here. You may have really doubted whether or not this person could be very secretive. They could keep that, that information. And you're just feeling like, okay, well, I think there's third, a third party here, but I don't really know. At this point, I feel like you do have, you do feel like there is a third party. Some of you even know for sure. And I do feel like there's an ending that is happening here because of this. And it's very painful. All right, we have the King of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign. That would be a 
Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer. But I feel like you have your eye on somebody here, Taurus. You're looking at somebody with love or lovingly, but you're holding back. You're not moving towards this as of yet. Or maybe you're waiting for them to move towards you. You're feeling very trapped, but you're also watching someone else. You're looking at someone else with love. It's a different person than this person. You have two kings here, but you're holding back in love because you're feeling trapped. And I feel like you're feeling trapped in the situation with this king of pentacles. But you are going to end this, it looks like. Show me the bottom energy. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You feel like this other person is your ideal mate. Queen of uh, Cups. There's been some confusion. Seven of Cups. And the lovers in reverse. Okay. So, you had a choice here, Taurus. You have a choice between two people. I do feel like you've made your choice. I see a choice being made. And... You're moving towards this King of Cups. Now, I do feel like you have been holding off. This is the action that you want to take, but you haven't moved in that direction yet. When you do, you're going to end this connection. And I do see that you're moving towards this new person. You have not taken the action yet because you're feeling stuck. But when you do, that's when all this confusion clears up. You have choices, you, but it's been a bit confusing. You're going to take action when you do actually end this connection and move towards this person. That's when this wheel of fortune starts moving in your favor. So, yeah, I, I see that you're in transition, Taurus. Let's see this other person's energy. Spirit, why is the Ten of Wands here? We have the Two of Cups reversed, and we have the Knight of Swords reversed. Interesting. Okay, so this person in your energy is feeling extremely burdened. They, It's like they have a lot of problems going on. Um, one of the, the problems that I'm seeing is there's an ending here. This person, they they may see it coming. I do feel that they they want to communicate about this, but it's almost like their energy is saying, well, if I communicate it, it makes it real. So they're holding back communication. Um, I do feel that either you or them, is, it's going to break through. So they're holding back. There's an ending that is happening here. So they feel this ending. They So you may have even said it to them, but some there's a sense of them holding back the communication because to communicate about this ending makes it actually real to them. So this is why they're being patient. Why is the seven of coins here? This person might not be very truthful as well. Um, there could have been lies that have contributed to the ending of this connection. The fool in reverse. Eight of coins. Oof. So this person, um, this person is being very patient. They're holding back from a brand new beginning. Now, this could be work related for this person. They could have lost their job and they're, they're patiently searching for another job for some of you. But I do feel that for a lot of you, this has to do with love. And this person is patiently watching you. I, there's a new beginning here and they may be watching to see if you're going to take this new beginning. They could also have some sort of new beginning that they want to embark on. But they're watching to see if it's going to work out. If this is going to work out. It's almost like whatever you decide, Taurus, is how this is going to, going to go. They're not working on this connection, though. And they're not working on this new beginning if they have one with, with someone else. Like I said, this person sits back and they just wait for the other person to take all the action. Um, why? Let me look at the bottom energy. What they're not seeing is that they're, this is not really working out well for them. It's a lack of them being proactive and it's causing things to kind of stall in their life. Ace of Cups reversed. 
Page of Pentacles, Reverse, and the Queen of Swords. Could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but yeah, this person is doing a review and they're aware that this connection here is ending. Um, I do feel that they've kind of turned their back on this connection. They're not offering anything or they haven't in the past. And so this is the judgment call that they know that they kind of screwed up here. They uh, went from offering very little to offering nothing. And I do feel this person is very defensive. They are willing to talk, but they've kind of turned their back on this connection. And this is something they think about as well. They know they've turned their back on the connection. They're very defensive though, um, although they are willing to talk. Let's see why the emperor is here. Why is the emperor here, spirit? Could be dealing with a Gemini or a Pisces. Yeah, there is that wheel of fortune in reverse again. So you're feeling a little stuck here. I feel like this person is trying to keep things together. Yeah, they're trying to keep things together. Um, there's a reason, and it could even be financial that this person is trying to, to maintain this connection. Now, that being said, I don't see them putting any effort into the connection. It's like this person just kind of skates through life waiting for somebody else to, to handle everything. And that's, I can understand why that would be frustrating. I do feel that you're going to take charge of the situation, though. You're going to be the one to take charge of the situation. Timing, divine timing is at play. You could have met your emperor. This, uh, this king of cups could be, you could have met your soulmate or your, your twin flame, possibly, Divine timing is definitely at play, and I do see that you are going to take action to end this connection, but it's going to be on your timetable. Yeah. Mm. All right, and you're not clear yet about when you want to take, take steps to do that, but I do see you being the one to do that. This person's trying to keep it together without actually doing anything to keep it together. All right, Queen of Wands reversed, and the Justice card. Sign of Libra, you could also be dealing with a Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. So what's affecting the connection is that there's a lack of action here. It could be, Taurus, that there's been a lack of action from this person that you have your eye on, or it could be that, you know, it's a lack of action from you. But I do feel that's going to get called out. Um, the person in your energy, I feel like they're just in this, uh, it's almost a judging type of energy. They want to bring balance to everything, but they don't want to take the, put the effort into doing it. There is something here financial. So there could be legal, something legal going on with this person. They could be waiting for a financial, um, a financial um, influx of money that has it, it's being held up legally. I do feel that whatever it is is out in the open, though. I feel like you know whatever this is. This person has discussed if this is a legal issue that they're holding back, they've discussed this with you. And you may have agreed not to take any action until this legal issue is settled. But I see a discussion between the two of you in that, in that case. I don't see this person putting effort into this. I don't, and I see you holding back from taking action. But all of this looks like it was discussed or brought up. There could have even been an argument about it. But whatever it was, there, it was discussed. It was talked about. And this is one of the reasons why you're holding back and you feel like the timing is not quite right. Judgment reversed. Six of Wands reversed. The Star card. 
and the emperor in reverse. Okay, so in your outcome, I do feel that um, you're trying to bring balance to this situation. The other person is as well, but there's an acknowledgement that this connection is not successful. I do feel that they're, you're both feeling hopeful, but it's not in this connection. It's, it's almost like you've had this discussion. There's a dissolution of a, this connection happening. For a lot of you, it's being held up because of either a lack of action or some kind of a court issue. If not, if not a, a physical court issue, it could be like a spiritual type of thing. There's something trying to balance out here spiritually. But I'm seeing a conversation and I'm seeing you holding back, holding back from taking action. Although you definitely have your eye on someone else. There is an acknowledgement that this connection is not successful. Your person here is playing the victim. And it's not going to be them to take action on this connection. They have the emperor in the reverse. So this emperor in the upright, I feel like you're the one that's going to take action. But you're going to do it on your timing. This person has nothing to offer you, Taurus. And I do feel that... They are, they're kind of re like in their own feelings. They're in their, they're in their feels, but it's not, they're feeling sorry for themselves, which is not a good energy. Um, and I do feel that you're not going to give them a second chance. That was their fear. You're not giving them a second chance. You've made this decision. That was exactly their fear, but you definitely see someone else that you have your eye on and you feel that they are a good partner and they are. This is going to be a very loving connection between you and this person. So I, I do see that when the timing is right, you're going to move in that direction, but you haven't taken action on it just yet. Somehow this person has influenced you to hold back from that. And this is why you're moving slowly. At the bottom of the deck is the four of cups in the reverse. That's underlying energy, and it tells me that there has been, um, there's a, a thought of this being a missed opportunity from the person in your energy. Um, they're still kind of looking back at the past, and they know that this love has passed them by. Um, in addition to that, in this underlying energy, I'm seeing that you're moving forward slowly because you don't want to have a missed opportunity with this King of Cups. So, and I do think that that's a good decision, Taurus, because this person just is, it's like they sit and let the world happen to them, and they don't take any accountability or responsibility. And if they do, they certainly, like, I do see them look back on it with regret, but I don't see them do anything about it. I don't see them investing in the connection. I don't see them trying to you know, even invest in closing things out amicably between the two of you. It's more as if they're just waiting for you to handle everything. So this person could keep you stuck in this energy forever if you let them. All right, let me see if there's an Oracle card that might give some further guidance or advice. Oh, look at that. Number 27. Now, that condenses to a 9. So, 9 is close to the end of a cycle, but you're not quite there. This card is uh, is called Empowerment. Empowerment. So, let's, um, let's get that. I'm going to read that for you directly from the book. Within the realm of the Kitsune are beautiful ponds, still and tranquil, Yet within them teems magical life. Amongst the beings who dwell there are the coy mermaids who come to you now with their message of empowerment. You are becoming stronger, calmer, more staunch and clear in your purpose and message. And there is a direction you are now setting that will be reached. The coy mermaids help the koi to persevere, to meet their challenges with perseverance and courage and a sense that every moment of dedication and learning will bring about the desired result. This is the card of the person who is moving towards a goal 
and even encountering setbacks. And so the Koi Mermaid comes to you to ask you to continue, to cheer you on and to acknowledge that the heroic journey you are undertaking is indeed worthwhile. While you are so focused on this task or goal, others around you see your work and are inspired in their own personal quest. You are beautiful in your tenacity and every step of the way sees you grow. It may feel at times as though the flow of the stream is against you, but this is not the time to go with the flow. It's time to make your own way through the waters of life, even if others seem to be heading in a different direction. It is not time for the easy path. You will carve your own way through the waters, for you are on your way to great good fortune, prosperous times, and an enriched sense of what you are capable of. That is absolutely beautiful, Taurus. So, you know, Spirit is really encouraging you to feel empowered that things may seem to be moving against you somewhat or you're going against the flow, but you got to keep moving, you know, be tenacious in this, continue moving forward, even if it's slowly, because Spirit is saying you are on the right track here. All right, I hope this has been really helpful to you. If you have resonated with this, Taurus, hit that like button. And if you uh, have not already subscribed to the channel, I hope you will. Until I see you guys in your regular weekly readings, namaste.